Okay, so I have a tote full of old data drive parts, shells, circuit boards, and whatnot. So I went digging and I found this shell from an old drive. It's been gutted. Basically, the only thing left on here is the sensor here and the encoder wheel. And if you notice, it's one I've already fixed. How can you tell? Because when I fix my encoder wheels, I use 3 8 inch inside diameter, half inch outside diameter, clear vinyl tubing. Slide it on a dowel. Take my utility knife, cut a piece off, make sure there's no edges. Then it easily slides on here and it stays out with no glue. So if you purchase a Coleco Atom anywhere on eBay or whatnot in the future and you happen to find one that has this clear vinyl wheel, odds are it's one I fixed. So we're going to gut this one. I'm going to take this piece out of here, out of the shell. And we're going to use it to fix the other one. Because that one was ruined. It's a chance you take. Sometimes they're ruined, sometimes they are still salvageable. I hope this is not one that I crazy glued. So far, so good. So that comes off nice and clean. Set that to the side. I may have crazy glued that part on there. Look at that. Nope. But look at this. You know, I see double sided tape. Look how clean that grating is. That one's beautiful. I cleaned that one well when I fixed it the last time. And then, where is the tweezers? The various parts. The axle. All the washers. Again, wet your finger. Come in here, they'll stick to it. Now, the fascinating thing is... Sometimes there's one washer on each side, sometimes there's three, sometimes there's none. I, at first I thought, well, maybe they're trying to like center them and stuff. Then I realized, you know what? Somebody was lazy. They didn't put three washers on it because I love the Atom. We all love the Atom. But we do have to admit that quality and craftsmanship was a little low. Idea was great, craftsmanship was low. So the first thing we do is we take... We're going to put this one back together now. Take our axle with our tweezers. If you look down in there, you see the hole it's got to go into. It's hard to do it while I'm using the camera at the same time, but that goes into the hole. Get in the hole. There it is. Okay. Then, wet the finger. I only want one. Take a washer. Miss. Get the washer back out. Wet the finger again. Again, it's a little bit more difficult to do with the camera, but see, I got a washer on that. Now we take and we put this on there. Don't grab the outside, you'll crush it. I did that with the first one I ever fixed. Now, as you can see, see how it just sits in there? This is not glued, it just sits in place. Take this, line it up until it's on there. See, that's in there. Wet the finger again, take another washer, put it on the other side of the axle like that. Now, what we're going to do, get this out of my way, take our grating. Again, it's, it, it may seem a little gross, whatever, but the wetting of the finger helps pick up these little fine things so you don't crush them. If you look at this, you'll see one side has like a circular pattern. The other side may or may not. This one, since I cleaned it and flipped it, it has on both sides. Try to put the one that looks the best down because that's the side that's going to be up against this grating and you don't want nothing grabbing and rubbing. So we take and we set that there like so. Now... We need to put this in here. My double-sided tape may or may not still be sticky enough. Let's give it a shot. We take and we slide that in there until you feel it going to the spot. Push down on it, on this outside, not in here because you'll break it. Push down on it and see if it stays on its own. It doesn't have to lock in place. It just has to stay there. Because once we put this other part on, this right here, it'll hold it together. Now, I could take this dirty one. I'm going to take the nice clean one that I just had. It's the same design. 
If you're repairing these things, watch them. They are different. These are the same kind, but there's two different designs I've seen also. Now, when I pulled it apart, it had the screws over here. The one I just took apart had the screws at an angle. Does it matter? I don't know, but I'm going to put them in this way because that's the way this one came apart. So what you do is, again, be very careful. Let me get these extra pieces out of my way. Because I have to put this in here, but at the same time, I have to, you know what? Screws out of, get the screws out. I have to put this in here, but I have to also line it up to sit on top of that. Oop. See my washer came off. See that? Wet the finger. Sorry about the hands in the way. Didn't work again. Maybe I can do it with the tweezers. Come here. No, don't you get under the grating. Try this again with the wet finger. All right. Now, I'm gonna do this off camera for a second. Yeah, it's very easy if I can just take it off camera and just put it right up close to my eyes. Now, like I said, what I gotta do is I gotta put this on here and I gotta set it down. And if you notice, man, arg. <laughs> Club fingers. Let's try this again. I think everything just came apart. So let's take it all back apart. Start over. Again, club fingers, gotta be careful. Axel. See, it's debatable. Do I want to edit out this or leave it in here? I could leave it in for the blooper reel. Maybe I will. Axel in there, like that. Then wet the finger. Take one of your washers. Set it on the axle like so. Take this encoder, hold it like so. I'm gonna loosen this stuff here. Let's get you over here, out of my way. Over there, so I don't knock the paper on the floor. I don't need the paper right now. Set this right here on the axle, slowly line it up. All right, that's in there as such. It may be difficult to see, but you can see it's in there. Wet the finger again, another washer. Don't drop it. Come here. It's being difficult today. Washers on there, okay. Now, the grating. Put the cleanest side down towards the encoder wheel. All right, now that's in there. You are in my way, get out of the way, thank you. Some of these drives, you can't take the controller board off of it. The controller board's attached with solder. And because of that, you have to struggle with the controller board in your way too. All right, that's in there. Now, when we put this on here, I got to get that in, that axle to go in that little hole there without taking anything apart. These bigger holes on the bigger things on the side help line up. But you got to be careful. Don't just throw it on there. Go slow. I may take it off camera to get it, but let's just see. There, got it in there. Wiggle this, make sure that stays in place. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold it down tight like that, flip it over, make sure that moves without catching, which means I got it in place. Make sure that's staying there without moving. I got that in place. Now my screws. One there. Mm -hmm. And one there. Screwdriver. Get 
Don't over tighten it to where you strip or break something. But you do have other holes that you can use instead. Every one I've seen has had two screws on it. I don't know why they only use two and not four. Save money, who knows. All right, now it's in. Let's make sure again. Move smooth. That's not going nowhere. So now we're gonna put it back together. Step one, we're gonna take right here the RF shield. Oh, you know, I'm going to have to stop recording, dig in my video and find out how that thing plugged in. All right, so I'm back. I went and watched the video and I found the relevant clip and took a screenshot of it on my iPhone here so I know what to do. Normally I take pictures as I'm disassembling these things and put them back together, but I'm doing a video today and I didn't even stop to think of it. So let's put it back together. First off, let's get this white piece of paper out of the way we no longer need. RF shield goes in first. Hey, which way did, which way did you go? Actually, I think I plugged this in first. Right there. Okay. Correct? Yes, correct. All right. So let's put this in the right way. We got first one is the small one. And they go in facing like this. Well, actually, let me look let me look at the picture closer. They go in facing this way. Small one. Then big one. Then black one. Which one is black? Black one. Then the green one. Yeah, I should have marked these things. I should have done something like that. That's a mistake on my part. All right, now we take the RF shield. We put that there. Again, when I rebuild my own, I don't use the RF shields. The RF shields go bye-bye and never come back. We put this on here like so. This is nice in that they're stuck in place. Some of these aren't stuck in place and this thing's flopping all over. And then we take this next RF shield, feed the cables through the hole, like so. Oh no. Get in there. Get in the hole. Oh, there it is. Come on, get in. Crazy piece of wire. It wants to be difficult. Stop. That's not nice. That shield wire is just empty. It's bare. You're being difficult. There. There. There we go. That one goes in there like so. Yep. Maybe we should plug this one in, Millie. What you think? Oh, I guess so. Plug that one in too. No, I'm going to assume it goes that way because that's the way the wires are. Yes, it goes that way. This is a bad design of that connector right there. All right, now it's all in. Back to our screws. This takes the three long ones. One in each spacer. That one don't have one. I guess cost reduction. We don't we save money by not using four screws. But we waste money by Alright, why'd you not get in the hole? Get in the hole. Yeah, she'd been difficult. I missed to miss the hole there. Let's get the other one started. Eventually, I'll get used to this camera being in the way, and life will be good. Until then, all right. Figure out where did you go? You didn't go in right. Where's my tweezers? Tweezers. Somehow you missed the hole. Get up here. Or was you stripped out? You could have been stripped out. 
Yeah, it's just like stripped out there. See that? It just doesn't want to go in. Hmm. Okay. Went in that time. Don't ask me why. And then I need the back of the case. Where is the back of the case? That's this one right here. We take and we. Again, slide the connectors through. Eh, we got some gunk on that. Here my rubbing alcohol. See, that's more of that wheel that melted. It gets everywhere. I've actually seen some atoms that actually it escaped the data drive and it was in the data drive bay on the beige plastic of the atom. I mean, again, a good thing it just cleans up easy, but it gets everywhere. It gets on your fingers and it's hard to get, your get it off your fingers. So, back in here. Slide you through the hole. <laughs> Looks like Millie needs to ease up on the coffee a little. I just had me yeah, four cups so far today. I just made some tea. That has caffeine in it too. So maybe I need to ease up on the coffee and get the shakes. <laughs> All right, get in there. Now we have four more screws left. You know what sucks is when you do all this work and then you put it back together and it don't work. I can't tell you the number of times that has happened to me. I think the first time I ever fixed one of these wheels, when I put it back together, I broke a wire loose without knowing it. And it drove me crazy until I finally found the wire flopping around, a little black wire. It was a ground, but it was just flopping around in there. Well, it wasn't flopping. It just wasn't connected anymore. And I had to solder it back in place. That was years ago. Tighten up. Tighten up. All right. So that's done. Encoder wheel spins nice and smooth. We're going to take and put the cover back on. When you put these covers on, watch the little spring right here. Make sure it doesn't go behind it. Because you won't know, and all of a sudden, it, it, you just can't get the, dry, the tape to go in. Be careful to do this, too. These will snap. There we go. And look at that. See? Doesn't want to pop out. What is going on here? This has a little thing that lifts up here. And I'm wondering, there's like a foam rubber in there that makes it springy. I wonder if it's sticking. See? Oh, no, 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 no. See? Right there it is. See that? It's stuck. There it was. Like I was just saying, you got to watch that thing, and that one actually stuck on it. And caused it to make it hard to open and close. All right, so now we're going to switch back over to the other camera. We're going to put this in the atom and test it.